Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin from GreyFlorals.com and today we have the final part of my paper purge where I'm going through all of my 12 by 12 papers and hopefully getting rid of half of them in the end. And so far, so good. Um, we've got a big stack that I'm donating and I'm super ecstatic about that. But the final stack here is the biggest stack and it's kind of two stacks in one, but really this right one's already pretty much determined of stuff I never reached for. Um, so what originally was organized in my stash was sort of like this vintage pile, plus all of my neutrals were in a pile. Even though I could divide it out further, that's just what they were currently, so that's what I pulled them out as. So just to go through this vintage one, and why this is the vintage pile is I should really just dive to the bottom here. Um, and remove this top section. Because I have this set of very, very thin um, different papers. Well, that's not really supposed to be there, but we'll include it. Um, all of these different papers that came in a set, and they all have this very vintage -y, they have a specific vibe to them. Use these ones before. You've seen me use a couple of these in process videos before. I'm going to get rid of most of these. Again, I have used some of them previously. There's lots of duplicates. I know some people would die to have like a paper like this. They're all thin papers. Um, I also really loved having the United States in here, having a whole map. Um, I don't know if I have two sheets. Is this the second side? Yeah, this is the second side. These might be the two that I keep out of here. I thought this would be a, such a cool double page spread to then like mark out a road trip. Your girl has not taken a road trip, so she has not been able to do that, but I would like to keep this. It is pretty cool. I wonder if there's a date on the map or if this is a real map. I don't see a date on here. It just says up to date. Who's date? Who's standard? But um, yeah, so I'm going to probably keep these ones. But as for this little vintage set over here, cute would be great for a collage. But I think I'm going to get rid of all of them. Except maybe this wood grain. Okay, except the wood grain. That's not part of the set. This was the original set. There was a couple other vintage ones I added in. Um, but if you guys haven't seen the previous videos, like I mentioned they're going well so far, um, but I go through all the categories in these videos and I keep a pile of the keeps and then compare it to the pile I'm getting rid of. So in terms of vintage, we're keeping three sheets compared to probably close to 20, maybe 15. So I'm gonna put these in the donate pile over here. The second half, the top half of that uh, vintage pile has some vintage tendencies in it. We do have the, uh, the lovely diamond print in several tones of brown. We have these, uh, I don't like any of these. Um, this is actually a cardstock pack I bought, mainly for the plain colored cardstock, but it also came with patterned cardstock. Um, we've got swirls, again, all in shades of neutrals here. And they're not even like neutrals I typically use. I don't usually use this taupe brown color. Sometimes this deeper brown I'll use, like this chocolate color sometimes, for the most part. I don't see many of these being usable by me. There are a couple in here. Like this reminds me of Girl Scouts, but I don't think I'm gonna hold on to it for that. I think there are some regular polka dots maybe, or maybe I just saw those ones, but I'm gonna donate all these. Not my cup of tea. It was a great deal on a pack. I think it was $3 for these, plus the plain cardstock, plus an embossing folder. It was a really good deal, but I don't need to hold on to these. I never reach for them. They will serve a really, really great community organization that I'm donating to, so I don't feel too bad about it um, in any means. So if you guys haven't seen previous episodes, I am donating to a local organization um, that really helps and just distribute arts and crafts and science supplies to children in the community, to adults in the community who can't afford it and who want to do, you know, arts, crafts and the like and science projects and learning and all of that jazz. So vintage pile, easy. We're keeping three. I'm going to keep them all together from now on because it doesn't need its own category anymore. But moving on the neutral pile, anything could be in here. I, I really don't know. This paper, I really hope there's something on the back of it to tell us how old it is. I've probably had this for as long as I can remember. It's from a pack, like a, one of those old 90s packs. I'm going to donate it. It's too hyper-realistic for my liking. I know some people would love to have this, so I know it'll go to good use. Who doesn't love a good paw print paper? This one actually hurts my eyes, I'm not going to lie. But I do like it. I do like it. Um, I believe this set of card stocks is in here because they are from Creative Memories, which means they are 12 by 10. Yeah, I don't know why they did 12 by 10 for a while. 
I don't know if they still do 12 by 10, um, but I don't think it fits. Yeah, it doesn't fit into my 8.5 by 11 storage, so I'll keep these card stocks in with my card stocks. However, these papers are, are kind of on the vintage front. I'm not going to lie. These ones are kind of cute, but I'm going to pass these along again. 8 by or 10 by 12, an odd size for me to keep, but for cardstock, again, layering and things, we'll keep those. Then we have a pink for Studio Boys Fort. To be honest, I like the cut apart better. So I could put the cut apart in my colored. I'll just leave it in neutral for now because I do like both sides. This one's from a paper pad, really cute bicycle set. This one from Bo Bunny, how beautiful is that wood grain? Oh my God. But I also, I really bought it for this side, but I don't know, they're both so beautiful. American Crafts, what is this, Heart Day Collection? I'll keep that one. Authentique, it's probably my only one of two maybe Authentique papers. Love this like wood texture and apply it on the back. We'll keep those, love both sides. Pink Fresh Studio, Pink Fresh Studio. Let's see what's on the other side of this one. I'm not sure which side I'd be more likely to use. A nice like taupe gray snow polka dot. Ooh, is this Heidi Swap? Nope, Amy Tan, Amy Tan. Um, why wouldn't I keep a polka dot? I'm not so much into the other side though. Mad for a plaid by Photo Play. Two sides of plaid. Let's put the other side up for fun. We got Cray Paper Good Vibes. Oof, I love both sides, but we'll keep the cork and the neutrals. Spring Market, I think this is the only paper I've left from that collection. Cause I think I bought a second one after I used up the collection, if I remember correctly. I love both sides. I remember using this side though, so I'll keep this side up again. Like how pretty is that? So, so pretty. Um, this is from a paper pad. Honestly, I could put this back in the paper pad. I think I have it out. I believe it's called Ice Crystals, which is a Christmas paper pad. And let's see, let's see. Can I find it in two seconds or not? The answer, I might have put it in my Christmas stuff, actually. I don't remember if I did recategorize that or not. Oh, well, we'll keep it in the neutrals. Got that silver foil in there, too. Uh, this is my little <laughs> Studio Calico cat paper. You guys have seen that if you've seen the orange section. Um, this one, I don't really like the uh, texture over the polka dots, so I'm going to donate that one. I don't need space vibe paper, but this is cute. I'm just gonna donate it because it's not my style. And then I have 50 more cat papers, which is typical in case you guys don't know. Um, Tuesday morning sells 25 packs of usually the same paper. So that's what you're looking at there. So let's see if we compare the keep to the donate in terms of neutrals, we didn't do half, that's for sure. Um, not even close to uh, half there. We tried, but um, I think the vintage really helped um, with that. We only got rid of what, six, seven. We only got rid of this this many uh, neutrals, but with the uh, vintage thrown in there, we got rid of half. Um, I don't think we have to worry about that since this one's probably well, it's over a quarter of an inch, but I don't think it's quite half an inch. If I pull up this one, the keepers, if you will, let me grab put the vintage on top there for safekeeping. Let's see. Do we think it's the same? Mm, pretty close. We do have that cardstock in here that'll get reassigned. Um, but we did make some progress. I'm getting, I'm opening a whole rack essentially by reducing that vintage stack. And then the side-by-side -side comparison. I want to say the one on the right is slightly taller, uh, probably because there are more cardstocks in it. Well, I don't know. Maybe there aren't more, but they're pretty close to even, which again, we're looking for 50-50 here, keep and donate. So I'm really excited about that. I thought this would be a relatively quick turnaround for me because of all the vintage uh, style ones I knew I wanted to get rid of already because I've held on to them too long. I did use a few. It's not like they ever went to fully waste or like collecting dust for no reason in my stash, but they are all going to go to a good home. And hopefully when I do the full recap of everything I have purged, you guys will see a huge stack of papers I am donating and then the small stack that I am keeping. If you are interested in seeing more behind the scenes, I am sharing a lot of all of my packing as I move my space to my new place in a few weeks. All of that will be over on my Patreon channel if you guys are interested in seeing that. And seeing more of what I've purged, I think I have four or five boxes full of stuff that I'm 
just giving away um, to the charity organization in my community with tons of different types of craft supplies. I thought it was going to be a lot harder, but I do have a video coming up um, probably on my channel talking about the purging process and why I felt it has been the easiest by far so far um, in my life to finally being able to let go of stuff that I've held on to since, you know, 2008 and 2009. And, you know, from when I first started crafting like these vintage papers I've had for years and years and finally letting go of some, but keeping some that really do have some ideas behind them. So like this one with a road trip across it would make me so happy someday. Even though it's a light pattern, I think it, it's doable. There's something I can do with this and I want to figure out what that is so I can put it in my scrapbook. But I hope you guys enjoyed going through my neutrals. Again, not a ton. If you guys are just tuning into this video, I'll have the other videos linked down below. I'm not a huge single paper person. Um, I'm more a paper pad gal, so that's why there aren't too many papers. I think we'll be close to almost three inches of paper that I'm keeping, and that'll be all of my loose papers, um, not including cardstock and not including specialty, but all of my loose papers will be pretty much halved from previous years um, because I'm donating it, but it's really excited to be able to do good things and to pass those good things along to others. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and got something out of it. But thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.